and an adventure for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind. Here's your look at the Jumanji game piece statue set. This game piece set is a Think Geek and GameStop exclusive and contains the four tokens, the rhinoceros, the elephant, the crocodile, and the monkey. These game pieces are a little bit more sizable than the ones we actually saw in the film. They've scaled them up, which is actually a really neat thing that they've done that. How tall are each of the token pieces? Well, on average, they're about the same height, give or take. So I'm going to measure off the crocodile, and then that will be pretty much the same height for all of them. They stand at around 4.3 inches, which translates to be, uh, let me go ahead and do that right now, 10.9 centimeters tall each of them. Each of them are also made out of a solid poly resin with felt feet. Each one of them, as you can see down below, has trademark 2018 CP11ARR, whatever that may be. Uh, the felt feet certainly come in aid because if you have something so heavy as this, you don't want to be putting on any surfaces and ultimately scratching it, but the felt feet do a good job. Got just a little bit of, uh, I guess, excess residue from it being inside the styrofoam encasement. Uh, but we'll have a look at each one of these. These are fantastic. I absolutely love these. Um, I guess, you know what? I seen as I, as I started with the crocodile, I'm going to work my way this way. And I'm going to start with one of my personal favorites. I think my personal favorites are the crocodile and the rhinoceros. This is the ivory colored rhinoceros, which again, very faithfully recreated from the film, just a little bit bigger. These are also officially licensed Jumanji merchandise from Sony Pictures Entertainment, and they're exclusive to ThinkGeek. If you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself, but we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. First things first, like I said, we'll have a look at the, the very nice ivory colored rhinoceros, one of my personal favorites from the film. It does have the little chipping and cracking and stuff that's happening on the top. Um, very nicely colored. Simplistic, I guess, would be the best word to describe all of these. Um, the rhino also has one of the more, more layers of color, say, by contrast to the crocodile. That's why I wanted to start with this one first. Very, very heavy are all of these. These are certainly something that you don't want dropping, at the very least. Uh, you know, they, they could be very solid uh, collectibles. You certainly don't want this falling on your head either. But the rhinoceros looks great, looks just like it did from the film. It's made up of several different colors. Primarily, it looks like it's got kind of a, a lighter, well, ivory color. And then it looks like they've also dry brushed a slightly more darker tan color of the, very, of the same color palette. A little bit of gray is also in there as well. And the gray is also added into the eyes just to kind of make some of the, the carvings, the very intricate carvings, which of course were done for the film, uh, stand out quite a bit. And I love the just the little added touch of having the uh, just the decayed cracked away like erosion done to the uh, the actual game pieces. So there is the ivory colored rhinoceros, fantastic one of one of my personal favorites. As we move further along, the material will stay the same, but the texturing will feel drastically different. This one here is the jade colored monkey and contrasting to that of the rhino the rhino kind of feels more like a matte finish or a satin finish the monkey definitely has a little bit more of a slick feel to it because of, again it would have been uh, done by a jade a jade stone and here much like the rhinoceros lots of extra colors added in here as well lighter emerald green and then you've got the darker coloring i say emerald jade the darker coloring of the green added in there in the area of like behind his arms, underneath its arms, inside the mouth, the eyes, the ears, all make it, all aid in helping it stand out. 
Uh, to also note as well, this the slick nature of this one, this one feels a little more slippery. So you just want to be a little bit more mindful picking this one up and holding it. Once again, you've got the felt feet on the underside. It still feels a little rough, like coarse. I'm wondering if it's just a little bit of extra glue or something that they put on the bottom there. Nonetheless, though, a really nice looking replica. And that was the Jade Monkey. Moving further along. By the way, let me know down below which of the Jumanji tokens you guys like the most. I think up to this point as well, we've already gotten, of course, the new uh, Jumanji film. And I think they're also planning a sequel to that as well. I didn't really like the second Jumanji as much as I really... The first Jumanji is still a classic. I don't know how many times I used to watch that when it was on TV. As we move further out from this gentleman's memories, let's talk about the metallic elephant. The metallic elephant kind of looks more like it's got indentations to it, like it would have been obviously against a metal. It would have been sort of hammered out, indented to give us the features here. Unlike some, for example, like the ivory would have been just chipped away. This probably would have been hammered out. And you kind of, kind of see some of those little indentations happening here on the elephant. Very heavy once again. The material hasn't changed. It's all the same polyresin. Uh, but again, just by paint and the texturing on it, you really actually feel like each one of these are made from a different material. The elephant looks good. A little bit more simplistic, I guess, of all of them. His features are a little bit more smoothed over. But again, you can really chalk up a lot of that just to the type of material that it would have been based on from the film. Elephant, again, looks really good. It stands out certainly among all the other ones. I guess the monkey for me is the one that stands out the most just because it's got a lot of the popping colors of the dark and the lighter green, but really like the metallic nature of the elephant certainly makes it stand out as well. Then we get to the rhinoceros, or actually not the rhinoceros. This is the obsidian colored crocodile. And I guess I wanted to leave this one for the last because it does have a neat looking sculpt to it, but doesn't really have a whole lot of paint to it. In fact, it has no paint other than the paint that was done to the main, the main body. When I look at this one, and I even looked at when I saw this in the film, this particular one, the crocodile, always reminded me of something Egyptian. Um, it also helped as well that it, it had a very kind of stretched look to its face. It looked like something that you would see in like an Egyptian temple. Uh, it really does have some neat elements to it. A lot more jagged and angular than, I guess, the smoother nature of some of the other tokens. I really do like this one a lot. The obsidian-colored crocodile looks great. It just doesn't have a whole lot of paint to it. Of the all of the ones here, of all the tokens, my personal favorites are the rhinoceros and the crocodile. The, so much so that I started the review with the rhinoceros and ultimately ended with the crocodile. Crocodile is one of my personal favorites as well. But they're all unique to one another. They are all distinct, making use of different mediums, different materials to cr create the tokens that you see right here. And even though this set of tokens is made of the same material, you can kind of, kind of see and hopefully have seen over this review by just changing the paint, changing the way it's been. Like the monkey, for example, has a more kind of slickness to it. It kind of fools you to think that they're made from different materials, but they're, again, they're all produced using solid poly resin. They're a little bit bigger, like I said, from the movie, which is, I guess, the best way that it could have done. If they had kept them smaller, I think they don't show as well on a shelf. So I'm glad that for these ones, they scaled them up a lot bigger, as you saw in this review here. I mentioned a couple of times that these pieces feel heavy. They're about a pound each, if you could believe it. Each one of them are a pound. They show well, especially for the fact that they are scaled up from their movie counterparts. It's the best way that they could have approached this because if you are a fan of Jumanji, you certainly would want larger scales of these to put on a shelf. Speaking of putting them on a shelf, for final looks here, something that you may want to consider doing if you pick this up for yourself, is that the box that they come inside recreate the game board box, which is a nice added touch. So when it comes to displaying these, I might ultimately put them on top of the box, kind of like what you're seeing right here. If you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, fans of Jumanji will probably want to grab these. These are, like I said, a Think Geek and GameStop creation and exclusive. Meaning, if you guys are interested in picking this one up, you can head on over to Think Geek as it's in stock right now for $54.99.
about $55. Check out some of the other cool collectibles and replicas that ThinkGeeks sell as well. They have a full extensive library. So if Jumanji isn't necessarily your thing, you might find something on their website that is. Today we were having a look at this fantastic replica set. This was the Jumanji Game Pieces statue exclusive. Exclusive to Think Geek. You guys want to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. By the way, if you are new to this channel, why not say hello down below? I was like meeting new subscribers to this channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out so far. And in 2019, there's a whole lot of stuff coming out, a whole lot of stuff. So stay tuned to this channel for new videos on a regular basis. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. And I'll see you next time.